everybody, and welcome back to Lyle's Friday Podcast from here at CNS Corvettes in Sarasota, Florida. Considering some of the things that have come into the shop in the last week and a half, I felt it might be a good time to review the five things a C4 Corvette owner should never, ever do. Now, if you're already a C4 Corvette owner, you probably already know most of this stuff. Either somebody who liked you and wanted to take care of you and your car told you before, or you learned it the hard way. Either way, if you don't have a C4 and you're thinking about buying one, this is valuable information. If you already own a C4, these are all excellent reminders of what not to do and why. Number one, never ever put the top on your car without securing it. I can't tell you how many tops I've had to replace because the people in a rainstorm ran out and threw the target top on their car and they didn't want to go through the pain of bolting it down and then they forget about it and next day they go for a drive on the highway and they lose their top at 75 miles an hour. It is dangerous, it is expensive, and it is so easily avoidable. Grow the habit of never putting the top on the car without fully securing it. Number two, when you're getting in and out of the car, do not use the steering wheel as a handle to get in and out. What I see, you know, deep buckets, high frame sill, right? People grab onto that steering wheel and haul themselves out of the car. The problem with that is the knuckles that form the tilt mechanism are aluminum and there are two metal pins holding that hinge together. Every time you haul yourself out using that steering wheel, you're taking a hole that's shaped like this and making it a hole that's shaped like that. That's why so many C4s, especially the 90 to 96 cars you get into, you can move the whole steering column like this because they've wallowed out those holes. If you need to grab onto something, grab onto the A pillar, windshield frame, use your elbow to get to the B pillar, the rear body or the rear, uh, rear sill, and haul yourself out that way. Do not grab the steering wheel. Resist that temptation because when it comes time to fix that, the column has to come out and we have to dig way down deep to replace that. And that's expensive. Number three, never trust your cup holders. Corvette is famous for having the world's crappiest cup holders. We all know it. So even if you just have that innocent can of Coke in that cup holder and you're gonna go do any kind of driving, don't trust it. I can't tell you how many cars I've taken apart, lifted that shifter console out and every piece of electronics under it is coated in Coca-Cola from eons ago. Don't trust the cup holders. There's plenty of good aftermarket solutions that you can install that will actually secure your drink, especially during high spirited driving. Don't trust the factory cup holders. All you're gonna do is end up soaking your stuff in Coke and it's never ever gonna get clean again. Number four, this one a lot of people don't think about or aren't aware of. If your doors are open on your C4 and your hood is open, like you're at a car show or you're doing detailing, close the doors before slamming the hood. Now, here's why. With those doors open, especially on a car that may have been apart at one point or has been adjusted or has had damage fixed, for whatever reason, it is just a little off from the factory settings in where the hood mounts and where the hood stops. With the doors open and the curvature on the back side of that hood, you drop that hood from a foot up, it can hit the door if it is not properly adjusted and either damage the door, break the tip off the very back of the hood, or both. So always make sure your doors are closed before you shut the hood. Finally, don't pressure wash your engine compartment. This is especially important on the 92 to 96 LT1 cars because of that optically driven distributor that is located underneath the water pump for some reason. If you get that wet, if you get it wet just once, you are going to be doing a water pump, an OptiSpark, an ignition coil, on and on and on. You can kill that distributor with one shot from a pressure washer. It's not a great idea to pressure wash TPI or crossfire injection motors either. Far better to go through, disassemble what you need to assemble and hand wash. Pressure washing on a Corvette, C4 Corvette's engine specifically, never a good idea. 
So those are five things that you can not do to help your car live a longer, happier, and healthier life. Please feel free to contact me at 800-886-5064 if you have some questions about your C4. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so that we can continue to bring you content just like this. Have a great week and thank you.